So hi everyone, welcome back to Data Science in a Pocket and DeepSeek has released a new model called as DeepSeek OCR. It's one of the first OCR model that they have released and it is just 3 million parameters and surprisingly it is surpassing some of the major models like Miner 2.0 as well. So in this short video I'll be showing you how you can use the model. This is the benchmark numbers as you can see here, text token in per page average vision tokens per image performance on omnidoc bench as you can see the model is great here it is deep seek ocr apart from that the model is open source you can use it directly just 3 million parameters so it's great here you can see some of the examples that the team has shown and before we jump on to how to use the model the codes are given as you can see here download the model here we would be talking a little about what DeepSeek OCR uses because it is using a few unique things that we should know. So let's get started, understand the details of the model now. DeepSeek OCR, how optical context compression might change long context models. It's a very interesting concept that is optical context compression that the team has introduced in this release that we would be talking about. So what's the problem with LLMs? their context length is limited right lm struggle with long context transformer attention scales quadratically with sequence length so if your context length is huge eventually the transformers attention matrix goes quadratically high hence in terms of both uh, space and time complexity it's very very heavy results in latency memory issues and high cost so what's the solution for this deep seek ocr has come in instead of feeding the entire text show it as an image this is very interesting image can hold a lot of text with far fewer tokens so instead of writing an entire paragraph with thousand tokens you can insert a small image what a very interesting idea which leads to 10 cross compression ratio what's the core architecture of the model that they have released that is deep seek ocr that is deep encoder it is sam based 80 million for local perception Clip large, 300 million for global understanding. Deep seek, 3 billion MOE decoder is also used. Mixture of experts, 6 out of 64 experts activated at per step. So you can see the entire step image, deep encoder comes in, compressed vision tokens now, MOE decoder, and then the text comes out of it. That's the entire deep seek OCR structure. These are different versions, tiny, small, base. These are different images that you can use. Large, Gondam and Gondam M. The training setup includes train deep encoder independently and next token prediction on image text pairs. The second part is train entire encoder decoder jointly, mix of OCR, vision and text based problems. You can read about the more details here. You can pause on this slide and understand OCR 1.0, OCR 2.0, general vision and text only, the composition of the training data set. Text recovery precision, as you can see, it's quite high. They have given you multiple details here, 64 vision tokens, what's the precision at 900,000 text tokens and more than that, as you can see, the compression rate is high under 10 cross compression model maintains 97% of the accuracy. OCR model performance comparison, you can see GOT OCR minor U 2.0 deep seek OCR base. The model is quite good. As you can see here on the right hand side, this particular display. Deep seek OCR achieves state of the accuracy with 8 cross fewer tokens than minor U 2.0. Now talking about the context optical compression in depth, what they're talking about. This is a new concept that a team has introduced. Encode long textual context as images. That's very interesting. Store, transmit, compress vision and representation and decode back to text when needed. So instead of treating text as text, they are treating text as image. They're creating an image out of it, converting into vision embeddings and then decoding it. That's very interesting to know. What are the other capabilities of the model? Chart passing, chemical recognition, geometry understanding, general vision skills are there, multilingual OCR is there in 100 plus languages and versatile document types. It generates over 
टू लाख पेजेस ऑफ ट्रेनिंग डेटा पर डे ऑन अ सिंगल ए हंड्रेड जीपी दिस इज मैसेव अप्रोक्सीमेटली थर्टी थ्री मिलियन पेजेस पर डे Why this approach matters? It is cheaper in memory. Visual tokens are compact. Faster inference is there as tokens are reduced. Fewer flops are required. Natural forgetting. Older context can be downsampled, and easier multi-model fusion is done. What are the final thoughts? It looks great. It's a new angle on context length problem. So rather than treating uh, long context as text, they are not writing it as widget. solution small vision not bigger window mimics human memory patterns and opens new research direction as well deep seek ocr looks great the model size is small and you should definitely try it out as shown on hugging face the codes are present model is open source as well thank you so much